my honor to yield uh, to a highly distinguished member of Congress, an Army Ranger, someone who has served multiple tours of duty and fought valiantly for this country in both Iraq and Afghanistan, Congressman Jason Crow. Thank you, Leader Jeffries, uh, and thank you to my colleagues. It's always a great honor to stand here with my fellow veterans in service uh, that have served in the intelligence community and the military. Uh, Representative Spanberger and I just returned from Ukraine on a bipartisan congressional delegation where we had the chance to meet with U.S. officials, Ukrainian military and intelligence officials, and of course, President Zelensky. And what we can tell you is that the Ukrainians are prepared to fight and win the battle for not only their own survival, but the battle for democracy and freedom worldwide, because that is what is at stake here. But I also want to be very clear that this effort to pass a national security bill is not charity. This bill and this effort is directly, directly aligned in support of U.S national security interests in the American people. The purpose of this bill and effort is to stop Russian aggression in Europe. Stop it where it is. The purpose of this bill is to protect the 100,000 plus U.S. servicemen and women and their families stationed throughout Europe. The purpose of this bill is to protect our largest economic trading partner in Europe. The purpose of this bill is to protect our food supply and our food prices coming from the breadbasket of Ukraine. And how do we do that? We do that by spending over half of this money directly in U.S. businesses where U.S. workers, men and women, will assemble the supplies and the equipment necessary for Ukraine to fight and win. And then that new stuff that those workers make that goes directly to our U.S. military to modernize our own equipment and supplies, and then our military sends our old stuff to Ukraine. So we are protecting our economy. We're protecting our troops and our families. We're protecting our food supplies. We are updating our military uh, readiness and supplies, and we are defending democracy. And if we don't do that, we will live in a drastically different world than we live in now one where the strong and the larger can just take by force the smaller. And that is not a world we want our children and grandchildren to live in. There are moments in history that will dictate the course for generations to come. And we are at one of those moments right now. House Democrats will not turn our backs on our troops. We will not turn our backs on our economy and our businesses. We will not turn our backs on our allies. We will not turn our backs on the American people. We will, as always, lead.